Well, good morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with didactics this morning. The most important thing about operating your ultrasound is to know first how to place the needle in the correct place. If you don't know how to place the needle in the correct place, it's, it doesn't make much sense that you are an expert in ultrasound because the most important thing for us as physicians or mid-levels, I know we have several mid-levels here today, is to know how to place the needle. And for knee injections, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to know all six entry points to the knee. And normally, and I always tell you this, medicine is easy and it's fairly easy when you know it. If you don't know it, it's very complicated. But I'm going to do this fairly simple so you guys will be able to remember things. So if we have the medial aspect of the knee and we have the lateral aspect of the knee, I like to start with the suprapatellar approach. So the suprapatellar approach is that approach that is approximately one centimeter above the patella, above the cephalot border of the patella. So one centimeter cephalot to the patella. And then is gonna be one centimeter that is going to be mid-sagittal to the patella, or if you're doing in the medial aspect, it will be medial to the patella. If you're doing it in the lateral aspect, it'd be lateral to the patella. So one centimeter on the lateral border of the patella. And basically, what you'll have is where the lines intersect, the line that is above the patella and the line that is to the side of the patella, where they intersect, that's gonna be your entry point. So here would be my entry point, and here would be my entry point. Now, again, medicine is simple. If we're doing it in the medial aspect, the medial aspect, and you're doing suprapatellar approach, this would be called the medial suprapatellar approach. Medial suprapatellar approach. If you're doing it in the lateral aspect, and you're doing a suprapatellar approach, it's called lateral suprapatellar approach. So now you have two approaches for intraarticular joint injections. And these are my favorite approaches because I don't have to go through any bony structure. All I have to do is bring my needle at a 45 degree angle at the entry site that I told you where the two lines intersect and come at a 45 degree angle towards mid patella. So, so therefore you have now two entry sites. The other two entry sites are the mid patellar approach. So if you're in the medial aspect, you would be doing a medial mid patellar approach, which is one centimeter to the side of the patella. If you're in the lateral aspect, you'd be doing a lateral mid patellar approach. You see how simple things are in medicine? They make sense once we know it. So things in medicine, everything in medicine makes sense. So we have the suprapatellar approach, medial aspect, mid-patellar approach, medial aspect, suprapatellar approach, lateral aspect, mid-patellar approach, lateral aspect. This one is fairly simple. This is at a 90 degree angle, again, aiming towards mid-patella. And the last two approaches This is anterior, 
And because this is anterior, and if it's done in the medial aspect, this would call anteromedial. And this would be the anteromedial approach. Those of us that have been practicing medicine for many, many moons, this is most likely the, uh, the way that we learn how to enter the knee. This one here is anterolateral. And now you have the six different ways to enter the knee in order to perform a intra-articular joint injection of the knee. Again, if we start in the medial aspect and we start above the patella, medial suprapatellar, if we do it at the medial aspect of the patella, medial mid-patellar, and if we come down, it would be the anteromedial. And the same thing repeats on the lateral aspect. Lateral suprapatellar, lateral mid-patellar, and anterolateral. Now, do you think this is fairly easy? It is fairly easy. So six approaches how to enter the patella. Your bevel is always going to be face up. Uh, and that is in order if you hit patella and my bevel is up, I'll be able to scoot it down past that. Especially, remember, the patella will work as a fulcrum. So if I apply pressure in this portion of the patella, what will happen with the opposite pole? It will lift. So I apply, if, if I'm hitting bone here, I apply a little bit of pr pressure here, and what's going to happen is this, the opposite side, is going to lift. Again, if I'm approaching this area here and I'm hitting bone here, all I need to do is apply pressure down here, and this will lift. And vice versa, if I apply pressure here, this side will lift. If I apply pressure here, this side will lift. So the important thing is not to start too close to the patella, because if you start too close to the patella, you're going to hit it. So that's why utilizing the suprapatellar approach is one centimeter cephalod to the patella, and one centimeter lateral to the patella.